What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another tutorial and today we're going to talk about managing cue points in DJ Pro. Now the first thing you need to do when you're in DJ Pro is use the mixer toggle button up here to switch to your modes. Right now we're in cue point mode but if you press the buttons on the bottom you can switch from neural mix mode, cue point, loops, uh, effects, and EQ. We're going to be working with the cue points. So from here, you can use the pencil button to enter editing mode. Once you press the pencil button, it turns blue and that puts you into editing mode. And from here, you can change cue point colors, you can relabel them, and you can delete them. Here, I'm going to delete a cue point by pressing the X button and then hit the plus button to add a cue point back. Same thing here. You can also use the drop down to label it instead of using the timestamp you can put a custom label and then you can also use the colors below to change the color of the cue point that's assigned now when you're making your cue points or when you're setting them you really want to try to be consistent with how you label them or what colors you use that way you know when you load a new song that the red cue point might be the first beat or the orange cue point might be the intro but whatever you have just try to be consistent with your cue point marking now the next item is this quantize feature right here and quantize can be applied to loops or cue points and it affects the way they're triggered according to the music. If you have quantize off, then it will trigger whenever you press it. But if you have quantize on, you can set it to trigger to the closest first beat, second beat, half beat, quarter beat, whatever you have. Hopefully this quick intro or tutorial for cue points was helpful. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe.